Hey everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since we've done an arcade video, mostly because we went through and did every character so far. But seeing as Hawks came out last weekend, I figured we can jump back in with him. I'm still not used to hearing the English voices in this. It's been a while since I had a proper battle. Yeah, okay, he's already blocking. Yeah, come here, you. It's very... I don't want to say obnoxious in a bad way, but I find it kind of crazy how present Mike is not a super obnoxious sounding human being in the dub compared to the sub. Not that there's anything, like, against the voice actors in Japan, so much as it's just, like, I feel like that was an intended thing for him then that they got rid of. Because Mike always sort of hit me in the series as, like, a mock of all the super young DJs that thought they were good because they could just scream and goof around a lot, but didn't actually have all that much DJ talent. Oh! Let me hit you. Well, that was the thing I was trying to do earlier, but messed up. Damn, he's faster than me. There we go. God, I never realized how much they talked in this game until you can understand what they're saying. Oh! I didn't realize I could break him out of that like that. Oops. I had to get used to the fact that I have to go at him. Uh-oh. He's like one of the few characters where you have to like choose the direction you're going. Like with Deku you can aim your analog wherever you want and he'll just slide at him anyway. But to add fly at them like this you actually have to aim at him. Sort of interesting. Oh, did he just start jumping away? Damn it, you dick. I was supposed to hit you with this. Oh, it worked. Damn you. Oh, I didn't even hit him. There we go. <laughs> I said you're too slow. I'm still on duty, you know. It's interesting to actually hear what they're saying in those like little interactions at the end of this. Cuz I always knew that uh they weren't actually saying what was presented down in that little speech bubble because they said it way too fast for that to be what they were actually doing. But that proved to me that I don't even think they're trying to come close. I always just thought it was like a quicker version of what the text, like, text said. Gotcha. Oh, I forgot that I had, like, Kofiyami still doing stuff over there, so for a minute I thought that Kaminari hit him. Like, that's- don't remember that being a thing. I mean, all right, if you want me to. Oh, that's a longer animation. Forgot that I already won one against him, so we can end this. I'm so glad you hate me. It's about time to finish this. It's my nest egg! Ha! Flash is true! Forget this! I didn't even have to go that fast. Hey. You're pissing me off! Shall I bring your talents on board too? Yeah, come here, you. Uh oh. Oh, that's 
Not great. Yeah, suck it. Oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm here. God, that's working real well for me. Somehow I keep getting in between his attack and him. God, this was not the map for this guy to fight me on. Oh. I won't let you escape. You want a feather? Load with grace. I can't tell if those are like they hit them and they'll fly up, but sometimes I can't tell if the main use is supposed to be trying to hit them or just enclosing them in an area. Because a lot of times they'll like get stuck where they are. Trying to avoid them. So I could see that being like an alternate use. It certainly works. This will be a big one. A chance. Didn't work. Win. I wish you give up. You're gonna lose. Go, Dark Shadow! Right! Round one! Ready? Clash! So I figured he'd show up eventually. I mean, him and Endeavor both. I also assume now that you fight like 18 people in arcade, because of the three different routes, that he'll probably end up fighting uh, Dobby and Twice as well. I just don't know how Let's much go. or how far they'll really go with it, considering that they can get into super huge spoiler territory if they don't pay attention to what they're doing. I won't waste this opportunity. It's Did I not kick him that time? I think I just threw him. Oh! I mean, I know all of them sort of have mini changes from aerial to uh, ground attacks, but he certainly is more noticeable with his. Alright. Damn it. There we go. Ugh. See, I kicked them that time. I don't maybe it's something with the wall too. I can see it being since I was close to the wall, he just threw him. Unless I'm like completely going insane, he didn't throw him at all, and I was just seeing things, but I can swear that was a throw the first time. That should be it. If not, he's gonna be like a hit away. I didn't even have to go that fast. Be more free. I must investigate. Looks like you'll be a sacrifice to the cause. Round one. Ready? Clash! Hey there, old buddy. Stop blocking so I can kill you. I swear I just heard a Nomu sound, and there's no Nomu in here. Listen, you. He really are. He's throwing a lot more fire at me than I remember him doing. I won't waste this opportunity. I mean, I guess I should have known he'd be a pain. We didn't really have to fight him a whole lot before. Yeah, he's. I'm starting to realize he's one of those that has a whole lot of yellows. That and he spams his range like Endeavor does. It's really interesting. I've noticed uh, 
so story mode and um like the free mode versus type stuff the enemies are designed to fight differently in there compared to mission mode and arcade i feel because i noticed that they're really they're super well balanced in those two modes where in this mode they either play super defense or super offense and there's really not much of an in-between I hate... For me, it's always worse to face a defensive person, which I think mostly comes down to the fact that I'm too aggressive in most cases, because I have, like, zero patience. But nothing annoys me more in the third, per, like, 3D arena fighter games like this, when you fight an opponent that spends most of the time running away from you because their character is faster. There we go. Damn it. I'm down here. I hit him too. Bastard. I'm gonna smother you. I'm stopping you. Get away from me. Oh. Oh, I thought that would feed him to it, but whatever. Did my feathers disappear just because she hit me? Because that's kind of bullshit. His fire doesn't disappear when he's hit. Eh, I should have known that wouldn't work. I don't know why you keep saying if it's midair. He's faster than you in the air, too. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go, Tokiyami. Ah, you dick. I wonder how many feathers I have to put into that fireball to get rid of it. Because it's definitely doing that thing where it, like, flashes and damages it. Oh, Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that. Damn, I was hoping he'd hit him again. Oh! Shit. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Well, that was my bad. God damn it. Jesus is fucking annoying. So I've officially learned that every fire wielder in this game fucking blows. It's Todoroki, Endeavor, and Dobby are all fucking assholes to fight. This will be a big one. All right, this should hit him. There we go. Should have waited like maybe one more combo, but whatever. There we go. Hey. What are you getting angry about? So they did sort of get a little spoilery in that interaction. Uh, I guess it wasn't terrible, but it's still sort of odd some of the stuff they'll mention now. Because they're definitely talking about some stuff that manga fans would really only know. Which I guess, like, the stuff they're talking about will get revealed within the first episode of Season 5, so you can't fully blame them. But, like, at the same time, Season 5 is probably, like, a year and a half to two years away with everything that happened with Corona, so... Who knows? <laughs> Ooh, I moved fast enough to break his arrow. Gotcha, you bitch. Damn it! Oh shit! Tokoyami came in clutch there. Although this is gonna hurt. Yep. 
So that hurt quite a bit for a only a one. I'll reduce you to ashes. It wouldn't be arcade mode if they didn't spam rage attack once they get down to their last third of health. Damn it! I needed to get that hit, not you, Tokoyami. Fortunately for them, I have enough ranged attacks that I can spam it too once they decide they're gonna be dicks about it. Oh shit. You know, I wonder what made them change their mind going into this game to not have force you to have your sidekicks up for the plus ultra three. I feel like that was one of those things that was actually a good idea for the uh, first game. I guess I can't hold back. Cause these do a lot of freaking damage. I think he just made a mistake in doing that. He did. That was a mess. I couldn't even see what happened. I just saw his health bar got hurt more. Uh, hopefully, that's one less to worry about. Excellent. That's a relief. I mustn't show any weakness. Plus Ultra! Alright, well, that was some arcade rack, stuff take. for Hawks. Choose Probably bring them into online in a few days or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. As I think a lot of you can tell, we're slowly easing out of this game. I think we're going to start SpongeBob Rehydrated when that comes out next week. But we'll keep doing things from time to time in here when we get the chance.